This past winter was one of the best for striped bass fishing on the Chesapeake Bay. Everyone that I talked to said they have never seen anything like it. On a normal year, some of the bigger striped bass will overwinter in the bay, but this year, almost all of the migratory fish that usually winter in the ocean came up the bay. December and January were the best months of fishing for striped bass that I have ever experienced. Hundreds of light tackle anglers broke their personal bests, and there were multiple days where the bay was like a scene out of National Geographic. Huge bird shows, big fish busting on bait on the surface, and we were lucky enough to experience it. The striped bass closure is now in effect in Maryland, and we can't target them until mid-May, but I wanted to show you one of my catches from later in the season to show the full battle of a trophy striper on light tackle gear. This was from a trip with Griffin's Guide Service, and the fish was one of my biggest of the year. Since Captain Drew took me to one of his spots, I blurred the background in the video to keep the location a secret. Enjoy this full cast to catch. Oh, I'm on. Here we go. Right on that leg. Yep, right, right as it was coming down the ledge. Yeah. Can't tell. Feels decent. Coming right down. Coming right down. Yeah. I saw him hit it too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let him go left, guys. He yeah. Go left. Yeah. Yeah. Come around. Yeah. You might have hit. Wants to stay down. Feels decent. I don't think he's fought yet. Yeah, yeah cool. now he now he realizes. Oh yeah, he didn't. I was like, you know, this is a 30. I got the net out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the there's the head shakes. Come right down off that pole. Yeah, there's oh, the head shakes. Watch your line, Will. That, yeah, I'm in the. Oh, uh, just uh, come over top of it. Yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, you can you slide good? behind me. He's coming. Oh, yeah, you good, thanks. Nice. Oh, we got on. Oh, they're there. This, on the right right now. this is a big fish. Here, if you guys want to fish off the back, oh, this fish is coming up this way. Dude, it's the gloves on the carabiner in North Carolina thing. Taylor does that too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like the idea though. I almost gave him. I almost gave him. For it and then I wash it for an hour. It makes a lot of sense. So I'd probably lose less gloves. Fish freaking hammered it, dude. What bait is that? The big, uh, it's a big diesel minnow. It's the blue and green one. The, um, oh, sexy mullet. Sexy mullet, yeah. Make sure you're hitting bottom, bouncing right now. Good call. You have to get right oh, there's color. <laughs> Dude, this is a giant. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's a giant. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. That's a giant. She is fat. Oh, look at that. Oh my Ain't god. Ain't much there? <laughs> no, not much at all. Right, your rod's clear. Alright. Oh. Yeah, grab a picture. Mmm, <laughs> that's a freaking tank, dude. Gotcha. Alright, let her go. Uh, yeah, where you want me? Your hand? Yeah, if you grab the lips, I'll grab the tail. Lips. All right. All right. All right. Well, I'll let go as soon as she lets go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one, dude. What do you think? 46? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Good job. Dude, that's sick. <laughs>
To catch these fish, we were searching channel edges with side scan and searching for fish cruising along the edges. We were using big Z-Man diesel minnow soft plastics on two ounce GI jig heads. The diesel minnows are my favorite baits for targeting stripers. Bouncing these jigs off the bottom enticed the bites on this day, but sometimes you need to work it throughout the water column to find the fish. <laughs> No, you're good. Come on. You want to come back? Yeah. It's off. It got off. That was another big one. Definitely a good one. They're still over there. Left or right? Left side. Left side. You want to cast over there? Try to chase them. Off the bottom again. Like, Drew, that was right off bottom again. Nice. Holy cow, don't. Yeah. Get the video? I can't tell them. Oh, wow. Nope. I want to pull it out too. Well, there he is. That should be good. Right there? Just keep, oh, keep it. Tell him until you get his head turned back towards us. He's not done. There you go, Abby. That's the TV. Bring it back towards you a little bit. But he's just off again. I tried to stab him. <laughs> If you go under, you go with. Yep. Yeah, there you go. There you go, good girl. Cause that guy's hot. Like, you okay? Yeah. I gotta have his head. Yeah. I can't go anywhere with his tail and make him mad and kick him. Yeah. Good. Go open your Holy mail for me. Yeah, look at that. Awesome job. Good job, Abby. These striped bass are truly remarkable, and with the state of the fishery in decline, we need to do everything we can to protect them. Many states have already implemented tighter slot limits, and Maryland got rid of trophy season this year, which I never want to see come back. We need to protect the breeders so we can have a fishery like the one we experienced this year for decades to come. Thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to tune back in for another episode Perfect. of The Water's Edge.